Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to day three of our food and fun adventure aboard Utopia of the Seas. Today, we are beyond excited because we have a reservation at the Royal Railway Restaurant. I mean, seriously, this is what we have been most excited about. Like, I am so glad it was on day three because we got to build up to it the entire time. But I mean, destination dining just doesn't get better than this. This is fine dining on a fully themed train while on a cruise ship. I mean, how cool is that? It's just absolutely awesome. I can't wait to see what, what this really has in store for us. But first, we're gonna kick things off with breakfast at Windjammers Marketplace before heading on over to Coco Cay. We didn't make any plans, guys. We have no idea what we're getting ourselves into, but we really just kind of wanted to get off the boat, soak in the beauty, and see what adventures awaited us over on this private island. We're sitting at the, what's it called? It's the Wacky Seagull. The Wacky Seagull. I'm going to show you the view. It's really nice. So this is one of the beaches that people can come to over on this side. We are over here in Chill Island. We just watched a wedding happen, which was beautiful. Um, I would have, I just thought we were taking a picture of filming it because I don't know them, but they, it was beautiful. I didn't even know you could do that here, but like I'm talking full on setup. Like yeah. gazebo, whole nine yards, not just rando over by the water, you know? Anyway. Um, this wacky seagull has these wonderful chairs. Let me show you. So they're like tall boy Adirondacks. Yeah. So we're just sitting here. Um, they did not, the, it's a very limited liquor menu yeah. on the island, but we were able to get a skinny margarita and it is very good. Um, one of the better ones I've had. Sometimes people make them and they just ruin them, but no, this is very, very good. Um, our sea pass works. Manny bought some water shoes. Where's your water shoes? Mm -hmm. Um and use the sea pass so that's cool it's kind of you know once you're on the island you're you're yeah. good it's really it's just an extension of the ship it really is no. everything that was happening on the ship as far as your sea pass um your drink package all that it transfers over to the island and wow coco k is stunning it's like a mix of a theme park and a water park. It's giving all those vibes. It's all wrapped up in these breathtaking natural views. It's, it's really cool. The scenery is awesome. Honestly, we didn't have a set itinerary, which actually turned out to be a blast. We got to wander around very casually. We didn't feel like we had to keep a timeline or make the most of the money we spent. We just got to be chill and grab a refreshing drink. Go ahead and take a seat if we wanted to. Take in the views. It was a really relaxing and enjoyable experience. While it's really easy to get lost in the beauty of Coco Cay, we wanted to head back on board the ship for our lunch and just some downtime before our highly anticipated dinner. I'm so excited. how they're like all in on it the tickets yeah. the video or excuse me the, the um, phone message all right so now we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try out the Mexican restaurant upstairs I'm sorry upstairs and try out the yep. Mexican restaurant because um, we get a little heard it's little, really good little, little tacos for lunch yeah a little light taco situation happening and then we've got to come back up here and get changed into our more westerny style apparel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I want to be down there by about 
Five thirty. They're saying come about a half hour before yeah. your time. So uh, they say the doors open half hour before. Right. So yeah, you can get in so. there, and they have like little cocktail area situation. I think it's just this moonshine drink, but nonetheless, all right. We'll be we'll be living the moment, feeling the feeling it. the theming, taking it in. Well, there you go. Rookie mistake. As it turns out, not everything on the ship is open when everyone is down at Coco Cay. Way more stuff was open on our Nassau day, guys. I just have to say, like, I feel like the whole ship was basically open if the restaurant was normally open. But um, on this day, not so much. So it turns out El Loco Fresh not open until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're a little bit early, but that's okay. We're going to explore the ship a little bit, check out a few things. Most importantly, though, this is our chance to get down to the Pesky Parrot, have it be a little bit relaxing. It's really cool inside of here, something that we definitely will have on our list of must-dos as it is a brand new concept here on Utopia of the Seas. It's not on any of the other ships. just um you know hawaiian or yeah yeah tropical yeah it's just kind Jimmy of like a chill vibe this is nice yeah and so yep. we did not order off the main menu which i know it, it sucks to do that if you um are going to kind of review it but this is the type of place that i think really is it's leading part is I mean, yeah. so the drinks are going to be all really, they're going to be great, but they're going to be sugary, sweet. It's going to be rum, tropical, yeah. frozen. Yeah, very good. Coconut, which, pineapple, delicious, yeah. right? They have three or four frozen mixers there. I think they're there are four. Yeah, on the pain sugar, on the peanut butter, pina colada, a wine zinger, and then one more that I can't quite really see from over here. But nonetheless, yeah, this is super cute. But here's the good news. I think she made a killer. I watched her make it. She did a really good job. So it's nice to know that you don't have, like if you're not into these type of tiki drinks, that you can come here and get pretty get much a full like bar. A regular thing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so I also like, she put grapefruit in it. Yep, we got a little sli slice of uh, grapefruit. Yeah, it's really great. As a garnish. What do you think? Yeah, it's great. It's not the, the type of um, the smell that she used I wasn't familiar with. Yeah. It's not as smoky as like an illegal. Like they're all different, really. Um, but it's very good. The flavor is really nice. It's not sweet. Yeah, I really like that grapefruit juice. And then I also like that she added, I would say, a generous amount of lime, which I love yeah. lime. So I'm all for that, right? But no, no, it's really, really good. This is adorable in here. Like this would be such a cute place. Like if you had, if you were cruising with friends to like meet up and just hang out, and chat about what you did on your day, it feels like that, like a little meet up gathering place. Yeah. Yeah super cute and even the way that the seating is it's very conversational type seating um like vignettes all over the place and then you get this great i mean look at this booth that we're in it just wraps all the way around imagine if you just had you know a big group of people yeah Everybody like if we had friends we could sit some here and here <laughs> and here if only we had friends <laughs> <laughs> From now on, I'm a bird. I mean, a cruise bird. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> Finally made it to our local fresh. Everything looks really good. It's very simple. It's like the streamlined ingredients, but there was steak, Sometimes chicken. Sometimes it's the best. Oh yeah, it smells so good. Yeah. And I like that you can put your own ratio on. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Maybe you just want a little bit of this, you know, something like that. So you got a little thing of nachos and a lovely uh, steak taco. Yep. I have a way overloaded 
chicken taco. Yeah, there's something. But we'll see what happens. I got a fork. I think I'll make it. So it's two o'clock now. We have dinner something. at six. So. Yeah, so this is just a little nibble. Yeah, we just had to, to try, try it. it. I wanted to try it for sure because people will talk about it a lot. Like it's just really great. And I can see why, because you can just come in. It's a quick grab, you know, yummy. It hits that craving. Gosh, we're still, like, it's so crazy. Look, Coco K, still out there. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Just a good taco, huh? Yeah, no, this is very good. Seasoned well? Carnitos, very good. Blended it with the cheese and the lettuce yeah. and pico de gallo, guacamole, so all those flavors. You know, like, like you said, you build your own, you kind of assemble it yourself. And, Chef did a great job I was just gonna say, all you can do is blame the chef. Yep. <laughs> Good job. All right, let me see what I can do about this. Oh, wow. Okay. It's interesting because I went with the chicken. I just liked the way it looked. I knew you had gone with the steak. You saw all the ingredients I put on here. Still, the leading dominant flavor is the chicken. Wow, that's okay. great. No. I'm, I'm surprised that that's what I got. In that's that interesting. That's interesting. I know it had guacamole, pico de gallo, cheddar, cheese sauce. And jalapeno. And jalapeno. And the leading taste I'm getting is that really well seasoned, very tender dining experience has been on our radar guys ever since we booked the cruise and it was a major I mean major reason why we decided to go on this particular cruise ship um, for our very first cruise because it's just you know when you're looking through everything we wanted it to be a short cruise and we wanted it to be on a larger ship and once we saw that they were offering this dining experience we knew this was the way we had to go about 15 minutes before our reservation, the doors opened and we got all checked in before waiting on the train platform. And this is where the show kicks off. So we initially thought that there'd be like a cocktail hour out here in this little area, but it's really just more of a pre-show setting the scene. While we did get to enjoy a really cutely themed strawberry lemonade, no, it's not alcoholic. I mean, there was so much discussion amongst everyone. Like, is it alcoholic? I don't know. I can't tell. But I really don't believe so. We tasted nothing. And they were handing them out to children and adults equally. So, yeah, it's just a great little lemonade. Gotta watch out for the yeast. Triplets. This is wonderful in here. Like, the details are so good. A little bit of music. There's the train sounds. Yeah, yeah. The lighting. So, we made it here to show off your little Western. Right on, I guess All right, I'm just saying, the website, western when you booked it, it yeah, said to wear well, Western clothing. Where are they on the so far. You know me, I'm a rule follower. I was like, we have to wear Western clothes. We're the only ones here wearing Western clothes. I know, but we're going to change up. What are your thoughts on Jeremiah's elixir? Very sweet. All right. What do you think there, Western lady? My hair western outfit thinks it's mighty fine. It's mighty fine. Oh, get along. Listen, smell elixir is always a good thing. But it's good. Must be Jeremiah's okay. special mix. I, I would say it's good. It's stupid sweet. Though. However, it's cool. Like this whole thing that plays into, like if yeah. you stand around drinking out of these. It's and it's cool. quite a handful. I mean, it feels good in your hand. It it's does. An enormous amount. Like, do people actually finish this? I couldn't be more excited about this. Oh, no. The only thing I need is to be the one seated where we're going forward. I can't write that words. And I know it's not going anywhere. But my brain will think it is because of the vision. Well, we're on a ship on a train, but nothing's moving. Yeah. What can go wrong? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I'm excited, though. This is really cool. This is truly destination dining when you can dine on an old western train in the middle of the Caribbean Ocean. <laughs> yep. I don't know how much more destination you can get as far as a dining choice goes. We are 
in a train station right now. Okay, getting ready to board our It train. is bustling. Yeah, and they even have like a little bit of forced perspective going down. Yep, yep. Now, a quick note, this is a dinner show with a prefix menu, so don't expect like a leisurely meal, like everyone gets served at once, which is really cool. It creates like this unique synchronized dining experience, but all of our fellow food lovers who like a long leisurely drawn out dining experience, this is not that, okay? But it's super cool anyway, it's just different. I just wanted to set expectations. This is not going to be, you know, take your time, discuss the food. You are a part of a show here, and the show must go on. Take an order for food and the drinks before our journey starts. Okay. Before the train is start, we want to take an order. Okay. On this map, we are now in Durango. We go to Grand Junction. Ah, but later, okay. this map you can take like a souvenir. Oh, it's a very nice joke. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, gotta love a good joke. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So he is lovely. This table is set so beautifully. Yeah, it really is. Like, look around. This is so cool. I can't get enough of how pretty it is in here. We are currently in Durango and heading to Grand Junction. And along the way, we're going to eat some great food. Let's pick out some drinks. That's what Manny's already on. I'm looking at the chef for a little old fashioned. There you go. So, on the menu this evening, we have the Outlaw Bread Cart, which I'm very excited about. Let me see if I can get closer. The Fart and Dart Baked Beans, Golden Chicken Nuggets, Soapy Smith's Corn Chowder, which is vegan, and the Old West Empanada Trio. For our entree options, we've got a classic lobster salad, a baked river trout, a braised short ribs, roasted poisson, which is going to be a spring chicken, and barbecue impossible ribs, and then for dessert, the infamous now already, the Royal Railway Cigar, and a Denver Gold Bar. So we do have to order everything before the train even departs. There's only 24 people possible per car. No, we will mention yeah. that it was an entertainment show and dinner. Yes. So everything's timed. They don't yes. finish what they have, they take it. So. They have to. There's actors and such that will be um, utilizing the, this sort of hallway here as a stage. And so the waiters can't be coming in and out and going around them. It just, it won't work. This experience is more than just a meal. You are absolutely part of the show, but it's more of like an interactive theatrical way, not like the awkward on stage, put you on the spot kind of way. But man, as part of this whole entire experience, it made it so much fun. Like we really felt like we were all in it together, you know, on this adventure, making, will we make it? I don't know, but it really made it fun. So don't, don't be nervous about that aspect. Just note that it is a bit interactive. Happening. No. Dude, you can feel the train. Oh, lady, a warning! Oh, here we go. Look at that. See you later, Durango. Oh, yeah. Now, folks, do me a favor. Sit back, relax, enjoy the trees and the scenery. And if you don't know what you want to eat, just look out to the clouds for inspiration. Look at how beautiful. What? You can feel the train moving. Yeah, you can feel it. Like we're moving on tracks. Absolutely awesome. Okay, I got the 49er, which has a mezcal cocktail. Mezcal, liqueur, agave, and lime. And then you got a sars a sarsaparilla? Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla Old Fashioned, which has root beer bitters and uh, Woodford's Reserve. Um, Look at this little side thing. Look at the prop. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> That's quite interesting. 
Oh wow, okay. Yeah, that root beer bitter taste. Smell like you smell it. I know you won't like it so you don't taste it, but you smell it. Yeah. It smells like root beer. Smelling. Well, it's root beer bitters. Oh, right? yeah, you really can. And look at the froth. It's like frothy like root yeah, beer. Yeah, like a mug root beer. Yep. It's got that and I guess A&W root beer. It's got that frosty mug taste. So I asked to have them um, not add agave, and he said that most of the drinks were pre-mixed. Like, maybe not the alcohol portion, but the, um, the mix of everything was pre-mixed. So he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to do that. I'll tell you if he was, but just note. Sounds and I think like you, you can did. order other special. You could just order probably like a gin and tonic or whatever you wanted. Because it is a bong, but it's really good. It's sweet, nice. but it's very good. It's not overly sweet. It's refreshing. And get, I definitely get a little bit of the mezcal smell, so just a little bit. It's definitely a good, fresh, bright line, but there's something else in here. There's a, like a type of liqueur. Yeah, like a liqueur, yeah, oh, and it's very nice. I'm always calvoosh. Look at that. Look at that. Savory cover head with bullet barbecue chicken and bourbon sauce. One time bite. Okay, there thank we you, go. Thank you very much. Very nice. Look at them, they're shaking wow. little cowboy hats. Is it a moose boost? So it's one big bite? Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and try it. Look at it, it sits on like a little shanty flower. Little pink right, pilot dough, it looks yeah. like. Wow. It's got a good punch. Wow. Yeah? Sweet barbecue. It's like a sweet barbecue taste. The theming on this is so great. The little cowboy hat, it's just precious. I really like the crunch um, and the textures in it. Like a dull sweet, I thought. Like, a, well, like almost some molasses barbecue type sweet. It's not like sugar sweet, but it's like a maple y, earthy sweet. You're right. The, um, the texture is so yep. good. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Good. I see if you get bullet. Uh -huh. <laughs> I toast. It's a bullet. That's a bullet. It's a bullet bourbon. That's adorable. That's adorable. Anyway, that's the texture is really, really nice. It makes it exciting to eat. Um, the flavors are really soft, I would say, but they're very, very good. These sweet barbecue and chili pepper it just washed over. It did not make it spicy at all. <laughs> it was very, very good. And our drinks are good. Which, that could have been a real bummer. I want to introduce you all to someone who will important to me. It's my pet, Rattlesnake Gumslinger. No, 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 don't worry. She lost her fangs a while back. She wouldn't mind them even if she tried. Which is why I call her Gummy for short. <laughs> We have pretzels with two cheese, dry fruits and nuts, white rice and turmeric, together with pimiento butter, cheese butter, and rose and garlic butter. Oh, okay, yes. Wow. Look at this. This is great. Wait. There's so much in here. And a garlic butter and a pimento and cheese pimento butter. Cheese butter. Wow. Let's enjoy some of this. I don't okay, that blue cheese, garlic, blue cheese one. Garlic cheese? Just blue cheese. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Right yeah. Uh oh. Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Oh, like it's stuffed That's with like it. Like oh, it. yum. You love blue cheese, and I do. That's where it's at, huh? Yeah. All right. Yep. You can and, see it kind uh, of splitting out the top. Some pretzel buns get a little too firm and hard. This one is nice and soft. Very good. Blue cheese, great flavor in there. Kind of explodes in your mouth. I never would have thought that blue cheese and pretzel would be so well balanced. Would be so good. Yeah. You know, but it's very, very good. Uh oh, here okay. we go more. <laughs> Just so sorry to interrupt you folks again, but a brief announcement for those of you that ordered the beef. Unfortunately, the kitchen has uh, run out. 
Now we still have plenty to eat. Oh my gosh. Thank you. This one is pork, chicken, and vegetables. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful with pancetta. Nice. And like bread croissants. Oh, this is so fun. I am having way too much fun. So I'm sorry. What I was saying was, what I was trying to get out was, I wouldn't have thought that the, that pretzels and blue cheese would go so well together. It's very good. And you're right about it. It's not a hard pretzel bun. It almost is just like when you get like a fresh made, like hand, hand tossed pretzel. You know what I'm saying? How they're soft. Like it's so good. It's so, so good. How cute is that? That is adorable. These are like bread. Like giant croutons almost for dip. Oh, that's nice. These are very nice. Very good. It has that wonderful herbine barbecue baked bean taste. But there's a whole bunch of extra vegetables in here. That bit of um, protect pork in here. I'll show you that. You see that there? It's like pulled pork in here, oh, yeah. a bunch of veggies, different types of bacon. It's delicious. I really like it. Exactly. All right, these are the empanadas. There's pork, chicken, and veggie. We'll make this as quick as we can. Oh, you got two of each? Wow. Oh, dear. Uh, everyone, please the inside the train. Yeah, please. Good, really good temperature. Nice and warm. And uh, it's like a pork. We all are. They're hot. They're hot. They're fresh. Mm. All right, well, I tried all three. Overall, very good. Pork was good. The chicken, subtle flavor, kind of got lost in the breading. Okay. But yeah. might be rare. But vegetables. Wow. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh wow. Well, well, this is much nicer than riding on the roof. <laughs> you know, my brother Rowdy. Well, he told me to get on the train, but but I'm guessing maybe he may get in the train. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on now! Wait! Where is Rowdy, by the way? The little bread wagon is, like, literally kicking butt. It, the breads yep. in here have been so good. The little skinny, it was almost like a Parmesan cracker, you know? Yep. I don't even know. I put the pimento on it. It was delicious. Yes, it's very good. It's definitely butter, but with a little garlic, you know, garlic twist. And then, but I love that they're in these little barrels. Oh, here we go. This was for your menu. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Gorgeous. And short three. Yes. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Thank Very you. Good. Thank you. We get a Royal Railway plate. Yep. Wow, look at that. Those potatoes. Potatoes, asparagus, oh, and then like... I believe the sauce onion. is the beans. Okay. Yep, it is. Wow. Okay. So I have a beautiful. You got this. It's like this. Potato, cake, carrots, asparagus, and trout. And it's a smoked trout, right? It is. Yeah. Wonderful. It's very tender and moist. It's not overcooked, which is a very thin piece of fish. It's a small fish. It's like moist, not dry. But the seasoning that they have on it is absolutely delicious. I'm, I'm surprised, honestly, because I thought, well, you know, it's catch and what, you know, what, but I wanted to try something different than you. Um, and I didn't want the chicken. You know how it was, blah, blah, blah. It's very good. And it's a nice portion. Yeah. Because I mean, gosh, there's all this bread, the appetizer, the, the mousse bouche, and then we have dessert. So this to me is like, this will be perfect. This is very good. It has like a simplicity on its side, you know what I mean? But done very, very well. I 
up to the table. Yeah, Keep your hands down, folks. Well, I'll that boat. Look at that boat coming up. Wow. That's a good start. Let's see. Oh, look, there they are. Let's see them catch us now. It's what my grandma used to say. Yo, look at where we are. We're like over a big bridge. There's a waterfall over there. That's amazing. That looks so good, Bear. Sorry. I got sucked into the storyline. So it seems super tender. It's all up the bone tender. Then you eat it. It's. I find it a little bland. I don't know. Like, really? Really? Okay. Even with the barbecue sauce? Interesting. So just a little flat on the flavor. Well, it's like stew meat, isn't it? I mean, so you're going to have... No? Hmm. I have not seen someone use a crummer in a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's so cool. So this must be put out by the Bullet Whiskey Company. That is cool. It's really cute. Very cute idea. I think that we're gonna blow up a hole to get us out of this out of this out here mine. mine. We're fixing the we're fixing to blow our way out. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very good. Yeah, don't worry. I'm doing this every day. Actually, four shows a day. All right. <laughs> This is so cute. It's way cuter in person, I'm not gonna lie. That is cool. Wow, and then look at yours. Oh, it has a horseshoe, yep. a little sorbet. Wow. A little like an almond, what are those? Um, oh, like an almond like brittle? With, uh, yeah. Looks like a brittle, yeah. So yours is like a candy bar, right? Or is it ice cream? Uh, I don't know. It's like a cake. Yeah, you can have a cake. Thank you, sir. Okay. It's like a co coconut and a cream cheese. Oh, okay. I'll try that. That sorbet looks heavy. It is very good. I'm going to try the sorbet. Yeah, I've had it. It's like a raspberry. Okay. Yeah. You know how they're kind of tart? Yes, like, yeah. Really good. Oh, that very looks very excellent. Good. What is that? Wow. Like a whole thing? Inside of a chocolate a shell. shell. The ice cream is nice. I can't decide if it's coffee flavored ice cream or if it's just because I just poured my wrap on. And this. Wow, this has a stuffing on the inside. Well, see. Yeah, so that cigar dessert is a thousand percent a chocolate lover's dessert. Very good. It's almost like chocolate three ways. Very, very tasty. But it is for real the chocolate flake. Makes me dizzy when I have that much chocolate. It's really intense. But you want to try this today? Yep, before it melts. The raspberry? Oh yeah, that's a tiny. This is really good. I got that. Yeah, she's a nice one. She's a nice cat. On behalf of Dummy and myself, I just want to wish you all safe travels wherever it is that you are headed next, Red Sweetheart. And folks, we will see you down the road. Bye bye now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We went on a train on a boat in the Caribbean. Oh, excuse me, a ship. We did. We went on a ship. <laughs> but I'm so glad you guys came along with us. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, 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 please be sure to like, comment. Please tell us what you think, guys. We would really love to hear from you and hear your thoughts. And with that, we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much and have a great day.